Yeah, we'll be getting up right near to basically tree line. So where we're going, there's significantly less trees than there are down here. And there. How you doing, Enoch? Wait, look at the bed have developed a little bit in the last 10,000 years. So the snowshoes that we have today are a lot lighter, they're a lot smaller, and they work really well. They've got crampons on the bottom to help give us grip when we're walking on the snow. One thing to remember though, is that these snowshoes are a bit different from those in that they pivot independently from your foot while you're walking. They, they should warm up when we sort of get moving it's here. It's the dedication of the uh, <laughs> to the craft. The, yeah. Like. <laughs> one thing, you, well, they're mo they're all sedimentary. Uh, conglomerate's one of the less common rocks because it's kind of it's actually quite difficult for conglomerate to form. Uh -huh. You need to have a lot of fast moving water. The Stony Nakoda uh, First Nations people they called it the Lake of the Little Fishes or uh -huh. Ho Ranamne. But how you get these these spots where the wind has scoured the snow out of the, the depressions, and then you look on the other side of those trees and you see those big snow drifts that, that accumulate on the far side. So the wind goes up and over the trees and drops it back on the other side. So you get these cool textures, almost like a sand dune, where the snow blows these, it scours up the center and then drops it on the other side of certain things. Like in behind that little clump of trees there, there's like a meter and a half of snow already. And then the same thing is gonna happen on a larger scale with the whole mountain. So the back side of the mountain here, Whitehorn Mountain, there's quite a bit more snow than there is on the front side. Like you see this cliff face, there's next to no snow. And, it, and even in the, after a long, long winter of a lot of snow, there won't be a lot of snow sitting on those faces because the wind just tears it all off. At least we can kind of put our hoods up and just trudge through it. All right, are we all ready to rock? Uh, a warm air vent. Avalanche danger. And yet there's been somebody over there. You can have grizzly bears that'll hibernate up there. And what the female grizzly bears will be doing very soon will be giving birth to their young. So their mating season is right around the same time that you get out of school. May to June. But they actually don't give birth they actually don't become properly pregnant, so they're, they'll have a fertilized embryo and they'll mm. hold on to it until they go to hibernate. If the female was successful during the summer and found enough food to eat and she was able to... 